Hi, in this video, we are going to talk about this option called Analyze Data. This is a new addition to Excel. You will only find it if you are user of Microsoft 365. In earlier versions of Excel, you will not find this option. Now, using this option, you can give what you want in simple English to Excel and it will do that analysis for you. So using simple English, you can give Excel instructions for what you need and Excel will do it for you. For example, if you want to aggregate the data, create pivot table or pivot chart, or maybe filter this data, instead of going to insert and setting up the pivot table on your own, you can simply go to this analyze data tab and here you can write what you want and it will create a pivot table or a pivot chart for you. So this is extremely useful for someone who is not very handy or very hands-on with Excel. If you use Excel daily and you know how to actually implement making pivot tables or making pivot chart, etc. Then you will probably take the same time in writing the command as compared to doing it yourself. But if you are not hands-on, if you do not use Excel daily and you may have to find how to make a pivot table, filter the data, create trend lines, etc. In that case, simply write your question in English and it will do that analysis for you. So let me show how this works. Let's say I want to see total sales for each product. So in this data, I have products mentioned here and I have the sales value mentioned here and I want to see what is the total sales value for each product. So I basically want to aggregate and this can be very quickly done using a pivot table. However, if I just simply write it here, total sales for each product, press enter and you can see that it has created a bar chart. This is based on a pivot table, which is why it is called a pivot chart. If I click on this, you can see that a pivot table is also created here, which is simply aggregating the sales for each product. And based on that, we also have a bar chart. If you do not want chart, you can specify that I want total sales for each product as a table. So if I go here and I write as a table, you will get only the pivot table. You can further give it instructions regarding sorting or filtering of data. So for example, if I want to sort this data, I would say in ascending order of total sales. And you can see that the sales value is now in ascending order. That is from least to maximum. This is not limited to aggregation on a single level. So if you want to use two categorical variables, and make a cross tabulation. So products are on the rows, on the columns you can put probably customers and in each of the cell you will get sales corresponding to each product and each customer. So if you want to do that also, it can do that for you. Total sales for each product versus each customer. So you can see, if I insert this, in the rows I have products, in the columns I have the customers, and I'm getting this cross tabulation. Whatever data that you get, you can also ask it to make corresponding chart for you. For example, if I want to visualize this, I can visualize it using a stacked bar chart. So I can probably say, create a stacked bar chart showing total sales for each product and each customer. And here's our bar chart. You can see each individual bar is for different products and within this bar, you will find different colors corresponding to different customers. So this is the customer called furniture. This is home space. This is hometown and so on. Similarly, if I want this entire table, but only those rows where customer is hometown. I will write all rows where customer is hometown. You would have noticed that when I start typing any word, it tries to identify whether it is the name of any column. And if I have mentioned any column, whether it is any value in that particular column. So it is intelligent in that sense. Also, it tries to identify the column names and the values within the columns. So you can see here that if I insert this, 
this table is only for those rows where customer is hometown so kind of a filter has been applied here and it names it filter table for customer hometown so in this way whatever you want to do you just have to write that in simple english and based on your prompt excel will suggest corresponding solution if you like it you can click on insert and a new sheet will be inserted with that solution apart from that this can also be used for exploring the data which simply means that you do not exactly know what you want from the data so you can ask the analyze data option to highlight anything interesting from your data for example suppose i want to find interesting stuff related to my products so i can simply write insights on product and here are some insights that it finds interesting it says that couch has noticeably higher sales it says couch has noticeably higher item price and for sales person 7 majority of sales is for couch product we also notice that it has colored this couch bar using conditional formatting also it is highlighting that important insight for us similarly if you want to explore any other column also you simply have to write insights on and then write the name of the column apart from this also if you simply want to explore all the things from your data when you open the analyze data tab you will find a number of charts and tables shown here and you can see that it says show all 37 results so you can click here and you can see all the results of all the charts and tables it has created if you find anything interesting for example it says northeast and southwest have noticeably higher number of items if you find this chart interesting just click on insert pivot chart and this will be inserted in a new page so these are all the uses of analyze data if you have something specific in mind you can write that in this text box otherwise you can explore the insights that it gives you or you can ask for specific insights on any particular column now to use analyze data your data should be in a specific format so that it works well for example the data that you have it should be in a tabular format the first column should contain column names or variable names these variable names should be clearly written there should be no merging of columns for example sometimes a row is inserted here and these three cells are merged and we write that the values are in dollars or maybe two three columns are merged to create one single big column if your data is in that format the analyzed data will not work properly so you have to make sure that all the column names are clearly written and there is no merging another good practice is to select the data that you have and click on this option of format as table this is not necessary so even if your data is in a tabular format and you are not formatting it as table it will work but once you do this all the data on the sheet is considered as a table and even if you add any new rows at the bottom of this data set that will also become part of the table and all the charts that have been created by analyze data they will get automatically updated so there is this benefit of formatting it as table that is if you change anything in this data set all the charts in these suggestion pages will be automatically updated otherwise in the data if you make any changes you will have to go to that particular pivot table open the pivot table analyze tab and you have to refresh the data only then the changes in your data will be reflected in the pivot table as well as the chart lastly there is a limitation on number of cells which you can analyze using analyze data so right now i have 7 to 7 to cells in this data set which is within range the limit is on 1.5 million cells so if you have huge data analyze data may not work so those are all the things that i wanted to show you related to analyze data option in excel it can make your life a bit easy so i would suggest that you explore what all you can do using analyze data try out giving it some prompts use any data that you have and just try it out whether it works for you or not that's all in this video see you in the next one